What's going on YouTube? Bryce Christian Airport here, back with another miniature painting video. And today we have a Goblin Grenader from the Coal Collector's Pack uh, from Loot Studios. So this is a really cool miniature. Uh, I love I love this pose. I love this just sitting there. Here's his base that he'll be on. Um, he's just kind of like chilling on the barrel. Uh, but awesome miniature and very small miniature that I'm dedicating an entire video to only because I'm a little short on time lately and this is a quick paint I can get knocked out and still a really cool paint. So uh, let's go over the colors. So I have Castle Gray and that's going to be his nice little pants he's got on there. Uh, I wanted to go with kind of a, a grayish color just to differentiate because there's going to be a lot of browns on this guy. So I thought the gray pants worked well. Uh, we are going to be using D and D or Army Painters D and D Goblin Goblin Skin, which is a unique color to the um, their line. That's the word I'm trying to say. Um, we use this for the other goblins, and when I did the Goblin War Band, uh, you guys can check that out uh, if you haven't already. Um, and the reason we're doing this is because goblins in D and D. 5th edition are this kind of yellowish color. They aren't green like you see in Pathfinder and other things. Uh, I guess Harry Potter, they're more flesh colored. So there you go. They're Harry Potter goblins in Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. Uh, then I have Army Painter's Minotaur Hide, which is also known as Fur Brown. Uh, and I'm going to be doing his leather strap that's holding his grenades, as well as his leather pouch and for the scrolls he has and the leather on his knife and yeah there's the strap you can see it a little better um next we're going to be using wood stain brown and that is going to hit his pipe and the handle of his knife then i'm going to be using Duergar metal for his grenades because i think that's a pretty cool color and i don't use it very often uh oh and then the smoke coming out of his pipe i'm gonna hit it with a grave lord gray and see how that looks uh and i might hit it with the pale wash afterwards as well who knows we'll see um so that's gonna be it for our goblin uh but as for his base i primed it in black and then did a wet dry brush if that makes sense um over it so that way i can hit it with speed paint dark wood to give an awesome wooden texture to it and then basically the entire ground is going to be covered in grave lord gray as you can see the gunpowder is spilling out so i kind of want to go mm, around most of it i may do some more brown with maybe like the wood stain to show like the gunpowder spilled onto the dirt uh then i'm actually going to paint these little bottles of gunpowder um the grave lord gray as well I mean, the glass bottles are going to show the same color. Uh, then there's some scrolls on the ground so that I'll probably hit with the Brain Matter Beige as well. So that is it uh, for the introduction. So let's get to painting.
back the goblin grenader is finished and i really like how it turned out um for a show it off if you haven't already hit that thumbs up button to let me know how i'm doing subscribe if you're not subscribed already because that tells me you like these videos even more than the thumbs up button and you want to see more okay so let's get this pulled up here so here the beautiful goblin is in all of its goblin glory i uh tried to add some highlights i think they worked out well uh on the pants especially um his arm yeah his face like right there i think is the best minus the foot i kind of messed up that foot highlight um i did do kind of an edge highlight right there but it's kind of hard to see and some highlights on the pants there as well but yeah I, i'm experimenting with highlights um it's one thing i didn't do when i originally painted goblins uh they were just like slap some paint on wash tabletop ready done which i'm still kind of you know slap some paint on wash tabletop ready done but I, i'm making them try i'm trying to make the figures look a little bit better on the tabletop than just tabletop ready so we'll see how it evolves from here um i do want to show off you know here's my original or one of the original goblins from uh over a year ago now uh these are just the whiz kids goblins here's the new goblin so very similar color scheme uh with the goblin uh skin color which i believe oh yeah that's right this is a unique uh one to the army painter set but it's a great um base color for your dandy goblins you can go darker with it lighter with it add some green to it you know all sorts of stuff uh which i should probably be doing but that might if i paint some more goblins uh just to get a little goblin variation also i grabbed uh, this is a regular whiz kids goblin with a little bit darker skin there um this is from their goblin warband set that i also went ahead and uh, oh what's the word i'm looking for reviewed wow um there you go uh they were very similar in like pose that's why i grabbed those two but yeah so again used very similar color scheme i think i did with these guys I used the same dual guard metal I actually didn't realize but you know uh, I do like looking at these I'm definitely think this is the better paint job however I kind of like this model if it wasn't for the pose I'd probably like this look for the goblins a little better I like the more square head rather than this like human s head and here I can kind of kill it there so you can see the the eyes and i gave him eyebrows but they're kind of hard to see and you can see the highlights on the gray pants a little bit better there too well as long as arm still really fun um this is again a loot studios model from their toll collectors pack uh great studio i've printed and painted a lot of their stuff especially recently but i did subscribe for almost six months now so i keep getting a lot of fun stuff and i've been buying some of the older bundles like this was an older bundle that i bought so yeah you'll definitely be seeing a lot of loot stuff uh that is gonna wrap this one up i hope you enjoyed it i don't think i did anything out of the ordinary with the paint job i think i explained it pretty well um i did do the paint or the this in the brain matter beige and then i put the brown wash over it to kind of make it like dirty paint but i'm pretty sure i can talk about that uh but yeah before i ramble on anymore i'm gonna get out of here hope you guys enjoyed it catch y'all later peace <laughs>